Welcome back guys with another one. My name is Wesley Sephoni and today we're here with something unique, something a little bit special, something you guys might not know. This is a Madeira and if you can hear a dog panting, there's one walking around. But <laughs> I digress. Moving forward. Uh, Madeiras are very, uh, very old. They're very old. They have a big tradition, especially in the New World, in the United States. Madeiras, although not made in the United States, they're made on an island called Madeira, all the way out close to Africa. It was settled by per the Portuguese people coming down, colonizing it, and use it as like a base of wine production. And they grew uh, a few different grape varietals, but the main ones are going to be uh, mm, let me think. Mm, oh, Negro Mole, and the other one is Malzada. Uh, so, with further ado, a little bit lesser known varietals. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure none of you guys heard of those, but they grow them. Those are Portuguese varietals. And the Negro Mole is a varietal that is actually very high yielding and sweet. So very large harvests. Uh, it can be used in brandy production, uh, but they use it in this as well. Uh, and what you got here is actually a wine that they would take, throw onto their ships way back in like, you know, we're talking about around the 16th century is when it started really becoming known for Madeiras, uh, the island, Madeira. <laughs> So it was getting a lot of a lot of publicity, uh, not like our social media nowadays. But this wine was going at a lot of places. A lot of people were drinking it, and most familiar, uh, Thomas Jefferson's uh, had a shipment of pipes and Madeira on the 9th of May, I believe, in like the 1760s, and it was seized by the British. And that sparked anger and a ton of riots around Boston. And the Madeira was a source of, you could say, American independence. <laughs> so a little bit of history there. Of course, um, this wine can be loved and enjoyed by many people all around. It is a fortified varietal. So they do add a neutral grape spirit to this or brandies whatever to kill the yeast and kill the fermentation and what you have is about a 20 percent alcohol wine and the wine making process in this is extremely oxidative so unlike a lot of traditional winemakers today that want to keep it fresh as fruity as possible Madeiras are the complete opposite they want heat they want oxygen and what you get is literally a brown wine, super brown. Let's see if I can get it closer for you all. Literally a brown wine. A lot of people would write this off right away as spoiled, but if you know it's a Madeira, you know this is the wine style and this is what they're aiming for. And you get a lot of characteristics that are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you barely get any acetobacter, any uh, acetic acids, nail polish. You don't really get much of that. You get more of the caramel, the toffee, some licorice, a little bit of tobacco. Not as much as a lot of poets out there, but you get a little bit of that tobacco. You get some good wood. And, yeah, a little bit concentrated fruits, uh, much like dates. On the taste, you have uh, a lot of the a lot of the concentrated fruits coming through, a lot of the licorice, and the toffee, and the caramel. Very enjoyable, especially if you want an aperitif after a meal, anything like that. And the best part of this, as well, is since you are on an island, and a lot of these were aged. Well, I don't know if this one was. 
but traditionally aged in the transportation from the island to the new world. You get almost like a blindness. So it's enjoyable. It's uh, quite nice. It's fun. And it's something new. So if you guys have not had a Madeira, go give one a try. And let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys got any questions, leave them there as well. And any other suggestions on any videos, please let me know. Thank you so much. Peace.